3000 kilometers away from Moscow, seven hours time difference with London. Gorno Altaisk is the capital of the Altai Republic, which is located in Russia on the border with Mongolia and Kazakhstan. It is not the big city, it's only 65,000 people are living here. It's the only city in Altai Republic. Gorno Altaisk is one of the greenest cities in Russia and look at that cute, beautiful houses with the plants on the fence. It's so cute. The capital of the most rural region of Russia and it's surrounded by Altai mountains. And now wherever I look, I see the hills that surround the town. religions are here are the Orthodox, Muslim, Buddhist and Shamanist and I'm currently in the auto, next to the Orthodox Church one of the few here the city is not big so there are not many religious uh, artifacts out of four religions Buddhism and Shamanism mostly practiced by Altai people there are two main ethnic groups. This is Russians and Altai people. We are the Communistическая street or Communism street. Actually before it was the street named after Stalin. This is the longest street in Gona Altai and it's longer than the famous Nevsky Prospect in St. Petersburg. It goes all across the city and on this street is the agglomeration of local cafes, restaurants and of course shops and markets so all the vibes are going on on the communistic street and around it you won't be able to see any old buildings most of them built maybe in 50s we've reached one of the two squares in Gonaltaisk of course this is the Lenina square like any, any Russian city there is a statue of Lenin and the same copy was in Riga, the capital of Latvia. But when Latvia got independence, they removed the statue of Lenin. The Lenina square is quite pleasing because there are lots of trees. So that is the space where you can chill on the benches. And there is also entertainment for kids. So it's kind of a cool place to come on the hot day like here. Today is plus 29 degrees. This is September. The climate is changing from very hot temperatures in summer to the very cold in winter. So in summer it can hit up to 40 degrees and in winter to minus 40 degrees Celsius. National Theater of Altai, quite a new building, proud that the objects of culture are being built here. And now let's go and check out that hill. We're gonna go on top because from there, there is an observation point where we will see the entire city. Let's go. This is the typical uh, suburban part of Gonaltaix, the five-story building made from white brick. As soon as we're coming out of the main street, the city center, the buildings around here are becoming more village-like, detached houses, rural. I have one hour to walk upstairs to see the city from the observation deck. Yes, one hour up the hill, super tight, sweaty, but I did it. I came to the observation point. I can see the entire Golno and Taisk in front of me, like a bird with the, all the houses that look big there, now look so small. I'm on top of the world. Okay, maybe on top of the Altai. From the observation deck, such a beautiful view opens up to the Gonaltax itself and the nearby mountains. Such a cute city, very welcoming atmosphere. It just feels in the air, good vibes. The city quite old, there is not many architectural masterpieces or something like this, but this is the starting point uh, for many of us who comes to Altai to observe the nature of this 
beautiful republic and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you didn't please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button this helps to grow my channel i publish lots of video twice a week about real and healthy lifestyle please comment what you would like to see in the next video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one